Good morning, students. In theme two today, we are discussing about the features of Ur city of Mesopotamia. Ur city was one of the earliest cities to have been excavated. Ur was a town whose ordinary houses were systematically excavated in the 1930. It means in 1930, the excavation of, uh, of this Ur city, the work of this excavation was going on in 1930. Now, I am telling you about the features of this Ur city. First, as you see, narrow street, narrow winding streets indicate that wheeled cart could not have reached many of the houses. It means that uh, the streets were very, very narrow. Even a wheel car could not move in, in the street. Sacks of grains and firewood have, would have arrived on the donkey's back. So in this way, we see the streets were very narrow. Narrow winding streets and the irregular shapes of houses, plots uh, also indicate the absence of the town planning. So no planning of the houses uh, as we see in the Mohanjodaro. In Mohanjodaro, uh, the, there was a plant that was the planned city, but this Ur city was uh, unplanned city. Then the third point, drainage system. There were no street drains of the kind as we see again in the Mohanjadaro. Drains and clay pipes were instead found in the inner courtyard of the Ur houses and it is thought that house roofs sloped inward and rainwater was channeled via the drain pipes into sums. Sums is a covered basin in the ground into which the water and sewage flow in the inner courtyard. So uh, the drainage system was also not so good in the old city. Then the next fourth point is cleanliness of houses. Now if we are talking about the cleanliness of houses, the people seems to have swept Swept means unka kura kar. Swept all their household refuse into the streets. It means they throw their uh, swept in the street to be trodden under foot. This made street level rise and over time the thresholds of the houses had also to be raised so that no mud would flow inside after the rain. Then absence of window. Again we are not find any window in these houses. Then how the lights came? The light came into the room not from the windows but from the door side, doorways. Doorways and opening into the courtyard. This would also have given the families their privacy. Maybe this was one of the reasons that uh, we, uh, uh, the absence of the window because they wanted the privacy in their houses. Then next point is superstition about the houses. There were superstitions about houses recorded in Oman tablets at Ur. A raised threshold brought wealth. A front door that did not open towards another house that was lucky. Again, this one is the next myth. But if the main wooden door of a house opened outward instead of inward, the wife would be a torment to her husband. So all these were the myth or the superstitions about the houses of the old city of Mesopotamia. Now the last feature is burial of dead. 
there was a town cemetery cemetery means kabristan at ur in which the graves of royalty and commoners have been found it means two type of the uh, uh, cemeteries we graves we also found uh, in the burial sites a few individual were found buried under the flo uh, floors of ordinary houses how did the uh, common people they buried their deads they were buried their dead bodies uh, in their houses under the floors it means that in the grave in the cemetery only the uh, royal people or those who were the have the capacity or the uh, middle class people they were uh, buried their dead bodies in the cemeteries but the common people or the poor people they were buried their dead bodies uh, in their houses so all these are the main features of the ur city in our, um, uh, our next video uh, we will discuss the next city uh, that was the mari city of the mesopotamia in this chapter we will discuss the four main cities earlier i we already discussed the urk city this is the ur city in my next video i will discuss with you uh, mari city and the last uh, one is the uh, babylon okay thank you student